Hey now, welcome back to the Lisa Duke's channel as I get myself situated and put on something because we all got to put something on our lips on occasion because, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's better. This is Tower 28 and it's called Fearless. You can find it in Sephora or go online because sometimes when you mention stuff like this or mainly most of the year, um, it has been somewhat of a popular um, item. I do like Tower 28 because um, my husband's adjusting it. It does stay on all day and we all may, some of us may, some of us may not be wearing lipsticks right now and we may be um, leaning toward a lip balm situation, depending on your lifestyle. Welcome back to the Lisa Duke's channel. In any event, we pray you consider subscribing. So, because I love YouTube, just like you love YouTube, love watching it, fan of it. Um, let's get right into it, okay? So, we're going to start with, uh, we have, let's see, one, two, three, six. Seven, eight. So we have eight, possibly. So starting at number eight, this is the Natasha Denona Camel Palette. This is at my bottom list. It's it's good to go with other eyeshadows or go with this particular look if you're doing a like a um. I guess they would call it neutral. If you're doing a neutral look, it's fine. It's not something I always do or gravitate to. Um, depending, I'm more of a color girl. <laughs> not cover girl, color girl, color girl. It's, it's, I, I got this uh, late last year to go with something else and I just wanted to try out her browns. So this is the camel palette. Okay. It may be on sale now. So she's at number eight. Uh, number seven. You know, I got to put stuff. I got to put stuff back. Number seven. I'm changing my mind already. Number seven. We'll put... We'll put this, I'll do this one here. Number seven, I'm going to put the mini lilac. Uh, that's what this one is right here. It does have the purple and the blue, and it does have purple, blue, and brown. You can probably see it better this way. We're looking at purple, blue, brown. No, it's purple. It's a purple, purple hues, consistency, and um, I want to warn you, we're going to start a trend, we're going to warn you that a lot of shades you may look at on YouTube may seem um, more pigmented than they are, more richer in color when you see them in person. So this is rich in color, and it's in the purple family because this is a purple, and then it goes into these browns like the camel palette. So the lilac is number seven number six because i was going back and forth we're going to put in place the mini sunset palette and already let's see that already that sunset is looking a certain type of shade it is more of a uh, burgundy shimmer burgundy it's more burgundy it's not as rich as it's being shown. It's just slightly lighter. So these are some of the shades in the big palette. I find these palettes uh, adorable. The actual retail prices of her palettes are way more. So these are $25 palettes I've got here, there, and everywhere. Next we have, what number am I on? Eight, seven, six. Uh, I hate to put you at number five, but I'm going to put the mini star palette number five it does have brown gold uh rose goldish tan and it's iridescent blue in it and put him there eight seven six five yeah five <laughs> 
yeah, I like them. I like her, the setup of it. Other brands have taken to, ColourPop have taken to try to, you know, make it look like hers. I guess that to give the consumer incentive to buy. Mm -hmm. I'll tell the story. Number four is the mini, it should be the mini love palette. And this is all different shades of pink. Let's see. The color is looking. Hmm. Near the near to the actual color. It's it's a beautiful palette. And again, I would just use this with other shades or you can use what's in there. It's totally up to you. You know, you can start off with the hmm, you can start off depending on your your um your 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 color shade tone. You can start off with the lightest or the lightest shade and then pick something dark or use this dark to go in the crease. It's gonna be up to you. And a lot of women have said that different things they use they may use some of this as a um blush so she's beautiful okay so we're down to three two one so we got we got eight seven six five four all right so Mm, I hate to put you with number three because I actually like this one because I'm getting to these other ones because they're newer. Well, I'm glad to have this is the mini Zendo. That's X-E-N-O-N. X-E-N-O-N palette. This has the black and it has the gray and the silver shimmer, another silver, and this is actually a off-white right here. I liked this palette because of the black shade. And what you have to do is, thanks to Kelsey Brianna J. Thank you, Kelsey. Miss Kelsey. She let us know that it's possible and um, Leore loves makeup uh you may have to go in with one of these shades first either the dark gray or this gray or this off white and then add the black shade because of the formula may need that type of um assistance <laughs> that's the best way to put it the best way i really like that i don't want you to be number three i want you to be up higher but we putting you in order so now the P.S. The Resistance. We are going to show you the Holiday exclu Exclusive, the Mini Metropolis Eyeshadow Palette. This is the famous box. I got it to show you. I may discard it afterwards, but this is the box. Get yours. You can play like you don't want it. Just get it. $25, order it. Um, you can order from Sephora or order from Natasha Denona website. You'll want it. Just just get it. Because sometimes you put, oh, don't get it. It's not worth We're going to find out in a minute if it's worth it. But it's just something you want to be a part of because it's, you know, you want to, you, when you see a bundle to me, you want to be a part of the bundle. I do want the, the, uh, the, um, the palette itself. This is the uh, Mini Metropolis. I want the palette itself. I know it's a hundred and some odd dollars, but I'm going to get it because it's something I wanted for my birthday. And when I can, I'm going to squeeze it in because the actual palette itself to me looks enchanting. That's the best way. I. It's a, it's a Lisa color scheme because it has red in it. There's a blue in there. I mean, it's a host of brown, but it just... It speaks to me. It's it's something I would, yeah. So this is just a little. Um, I want to keep saying incentive. This is the trial trial size. This here, I like that. I like to try it out. Try me out size. There we go. Yeah. 
You, you know, you just get it. And then if you, if you, I hope you don't wait too long, you know, just in case other women, because once, you know, we put some, a little scent on stuff, all, everybody and their grandma want one, so be in that. Okay, and also I want to show you before we go further is the, well, let me go, let me just go in order. So this is, we're going to put, I don't even want to put it at two, but we're going to put this palette at number two. Because this is how I, I just because this is the order in which I like it. So this is her. Hey, <laughs> the hair is kind of matching it. I have a wig that kind of has a close, but I came and sat down. I ain't feel like getting up to go get it. She'll have to make an appearance at a later at a later date. Too funny. So this is her. So we're gonna swatch together. I, and this is her brush. There you go. Let me show you the size of the brush because this is the size of a regular everyday makeup brush i haven't used it yet so she's in the wrapper this is what you're getting i want to show you like this so you can see it like that this brush is small but it's nice for the money it's nice she's that short is what you're getting Mm -hmm. So it's nice to have because you got a palette and how often do you get that? So you got a little bitty brush. Yay. And it says Natasha Denona on it. Yep. And yeah, and she's the color of a teal. All right. So let's swatch. Okay. So our, nope, we have shades on the back. Yes, our shades. And I was excited because the middle shade was the name I was considering as a middle name for our daughter. So the middle shade's name is Jubilee. And we have, does this box help me? Yeah, the box helps me. So we have, uh, the middle shade is Jubilee. And then next to that is something called, I can't pronounce it. And this one is called, it's like, bo almost like boil, and this is a cord, and this one is this one here, this one is, this one is blaze, blaze, rope, jubilee, and this one is almost like boil, weird, and the last one is like corrode, I believe, so let us swatch, we got, how many, we got five, got to get five so we get the thumb in there we get the brown in there we get the jubilee they feel good i like the 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 glitter shade shadows and we got everybody so everybody's all up in here here we are let's just what we're gonna i usually do it on the inside of the arm if i could just get my sleeve together so let us swatch let us break bread together on our knees. Ooh. When we fall down on our knees, we lift our, is it with our, lift our face to the rising sun. Oh, Lord, have mercy on me that song came to me while i'm sitting here just watching so these shades look pretty good you can kind of see i might have to go over let's see is that the like mustardy color yeah the mustardy color it's giving me a little problem let's see if we can go over you now my shade my arm is a little lighter so I would use this one first, this creamy color, maybe start with that or the brown, depending, maybe the cream color first and then the brown. Um, let me, it's, her name is uh, Glam Girl Chelsea. She had went over how she applied this. So in swatching, I don't know, it feels, it felt, she said she had problems with Jubilee, <laughs> but it felt nice to swatch it. 
I don't know. I guess with all things, take your time. You know? I would assume that because something is brand new that it would perform a certain kind of way, but, you know. We shall see. Yeah, I'm wiping it all off so we get to the last one. Let's see. Any staining? Jubilee is taking this time leaving as I use this Dollar Tree wipe. Yeah, she's taking her time. It's like, can you see anything? Might be a slight little mark, but getting it off here, you know, depending on if you use a wipe, if you use a certain makeup remover, eyeshadow remover, you know, we want the makeup to be placed and look good, but we, you know, but you want to be scraping your skin, making it bleed. <laughs> what kind of makeup you got, old oh, girls? Because, you know. Brown eyes are in my head. The the blog is going left. <laughs> Just a little bit. Okay, so number one, we're gonna put her at number one is the mini the mini and even my finger is like still got the Jubilee on it. Um is the mini glam palette. I appreciate the mini glam palette because the actual glam palette I do not like. I'm not a total fan. I'm going to get some of this off my finger a little bit more. Let's see. Boy, child, she don't want to even leave her sister. You believe want to stay for a while. She want to hang out. So not me, not me. Yeah, you got to go, sister. You got to go. Yeah, they, they um, hmm. Yeah, putting, application is important and removal is important. I don't know. Jubilee might might stain it might stain your eyelids it might because it's not trying to come off my finger yeah I know the pigmentation is oh, I, I, that's one reason why I wanted the palette because that particular shade and before I knew the name of it but um yeah this one might stain so the I want I'll have to find out in Jesus name when I get the palette as soon as I can and let you know what I thought of the actual whole metropolis palette because the metropolis palette itself the original is in uh teal packaging so yeah this is really i still like it I still like it mm -hmm. all right the mini the baby the mini glam look at that got the gold i just tested the little metropolis they got the gold on my hand can you even see it it's like right there I'm telling you, you. <laughs> okay, that palette don't put don't 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 play no punches. Don't it don't cut no deals. I mean, goodness. So this is the mini glam, and she is small. Uh, when you order this, it's going to come in a um, nice little because it's the holiday. These two are like holiday items, so it comes in a nice little clear um, packaging. You could probably take it and you know maybe wrap it may not wrap it stick it on it stick it on your tree depending on you know who you are stick it on your tree and if you have, if you have a beady room you know it's adorable i didn't need all that you know I, I just took it apart and sanitized it and brought it in so here we go we're gonna swatch her and we have um outer oh it just says where to put it um i want to say transition crease Yep, an outer eye. She's not not quite names. I don't see any names on here. So, mini glam. So, we're going to go in. It's not that many. We only need three fingers. I'm not going to use my middle finger because it's got that shadow on it. So, I'm going to use the index, the ring finger, and the pinky. Ooh, the pinky. We like that. We like that shade. So, this will be number one. And we're going to, let's see, we're going to try to go inside the arm. So we're going to do the pinky first. And then this is a brown, weird brown, gray, and a cream. Not bad. Now, I would actually wear it. I would wear this. I would definitely start with the cream and then try to put the darker brownish 
uh, tan cream weird shade and then put this on the lid so all over the lid with the cream all over the lid with the cream then take the darker then try to insert that here and then really try to cover it all with the glitter not bad I don't hate it mm -mm. nope okay let's see removal Oops, it's coming off not awful it's coming off even though I'm using the same wipe trying to find a clear spot but one of them may the glitter again may stain your eyelid because I am noticing a dark mark here so the glitter may stain hey so I'm finding out with y'all God forbid, just in case. Oh, look at it. Okay, so let's go. Retro trip. We, we did camel, number eight. And then number seven was the uh, mini Leela palette. I don't know if it's still available. Maybe on her website, but I got these from Sephora. And this is the mini sunset palette. That's, what is it, seven, oop, eight, seven, six. Number five, I don't want to be number five, but I really do like the uh, mini star palette. Did I say star palette? If I did not say star palette, I apologize. This is the mini star palette. It has this, I don't know, it's blue and some browns and golds. Not bad. But I really think the Metropolis is pretty hot because that gold is very pronounced. And then right behind that comes the mini love palette and then of course the z the z z xenon xenon because they also have the zendo so this is the zen okay <laughs> i'm confused myself look it's this just in case i'm pronouncing it wrong x e n o n should be zendo I don't know. She has all these different name ones. One with an X, one with a Z. So you want the one with the X. Do not get the one with the Z because it has all these different colors on it. Mm -hmm. I'm so helpful in a backwards kind of way. <laughs> but I really like this one. I do because I, 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 I like these shades and I will mix this with, you know, some of this and that kind of thing. And then, of course, the reason I for the vlog the mini metropolis palette which i really do like which is number two we'll put her at number two actually we should put her to number one and put her to number two put the mini uh mini glam palette number two and make metropolis number one because that's actual my actual um color scheme i, I do like to have actual color I mean this doesn't offend me at all and if I'm just doing between this teal and this gold I can use the brown for the background and um, let me think that I, I have to remember to put in maybe the comments or in the description box the young woman the last person I watched do the vlog about this i actually like her application what she did and um yeah i like how her eye came out so i have to look that up and then write her name in the comment section so you can watch her makeup tutorial hopefully you enjoyed this um haul ranking haul ranking and um, hopefully i'll see y'all relatively soon in jesus name i feel like i have to Belch, and I don't want to do it in your ear. Mm. It's the Poland Spring, not sponsored, but hey, we like it. And I actually like Deer Park more. Hopefully see you soon in Jesus' name. Thank you for coming by. We pray you like, comment, subscribe to this channel. We thank and praise God for you, Lord, that will be the one growing this channel. And there's a song that says, oh, the lyrics say, oh, no, it's not I but the Christ that lives in me. Thank you all for uh, your prayers, your comments, your concerns, um, some flowers uh, for our dad. You may see him here on the some of the vlogs. You've seen him before. 
um, him being with the Lord in Jesus' name, because I don't want to say anything, but he's with God. And um, I thank you so much for that. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it because I'm slightly coming down after all this good makeup. But I thank and praise God for my new sister. Her birthday was uh, this past week on October 19th. And my new niece, her birthday is October 27th. And it'll be her first birthday. And thank you for coming and being and subscribing and leaving your comments here. I feel like Kermit the Frog's cousin on the Lisa Dukes channel. Natasha didn't own them. I wasn't quite crazy about her at first. And I thought it was maybe possibly my application. Possibly. But we're going to do our best to put some try. So let me just put some try in it. Let me try harder. As I try harder and follow Kelsey Brianna J when she did this palette on her channel, um, it came out better. So as you app, put your application in, yes, do a little um, do a little run through, do a little practice. And if you believe your eye looks look good, go with that. If someone said, you can't let one person say, oh, that don't look good. And then you just never, ever wear it again, girl. I mean, you know, it's time to come off. I'm about to take the wig off and everything. Um, <laughs> if, if it looks good to you, then wear it. It looks good. I wear what looks good to me, you know. There's some things I would wear. I mean, when it comes to church, I'm not going to wear makeup in church because I'm going to be in there praising the Lord and crying, having a good time. I don't want to be worrying about putting something on all that kind of thing. That's why I guess when I was a younger child I would see the women put their you know makeup on or a little do with little do that after church and that would be um the vlogs you may see of um CRCCI family again I've been here gabbing away see y'all relatively soon just want to you know thank you Lord for the moment to be here with you and I pray this is except I can't even get it out acceptable there you go but can you kindly get off? <laughs> Bye.